Okay, um, I literally just woke up and I just had the craziest fucking dream and I want to tell you about it before I forget. So I'm like at Walmart or some shit, right? Some big huge store. And I'm going in and it's taking me forever to shop for some reason. Like I'm just having a lot of trouble finding all the things that I need. And I finally, I get all ready. I get all my stuff in my cart. And I go to, you know, up to the cash register, and I'm, like, sitting there, I'm waiting, I'm chilling, and then, like, a couple people that I know walk up there, and, like, I don't know them in real life, but I knew them in my dream, and I start bullshitting with them and stuff, and then, um, I, uh, I have my cart kind of just sitting there like sort of diagonally behind me and this guy walks up and tries to steal my cart and I saw him and I turned around and I went after him and I was like hey man that's my car what the fuck are you doing and he just like let's go of it and just like walks away all nonchalantly and I was like oh that's weird so I brought it back and then like 10 30 seconds later it happens again except he picks up a little girl, maybe like a two or three year old girl, and puts her in the cart and then starts running away. I was like, what the hell are you doing, man? That's my cart. What are you doing? And then, just like before, he just lets it go and, like, walks away. And there's this little girl she can kind of talk, but not really. And I'm like, okay, obviously this isn't his kid because he just, like, left her, you know? And I pick her up, and I'm like, oh, shit, what am I going to do with this girl? I have no clue who she belongs to. And I asked her, I was like, was that your daddy? And she goes, no. I'm like, well, what the fuck? And then, 30 seconds later, it happens again. When I'm trying to find this little girl's dad or mom or whatever. And this time, it's like a 10-year-old girl. And he sticks her, like, in the little front of the cart where the little seat is for the little kids. And then he tries to walk away with it, and finally, like this time, I tried to chase him, but he was really, really fast, and I can't run fast. Especially in my dreams, if I try to, like, fight somebody, or, like, run away, I run, like, super, super, super slow, or I fight, like, really weak. It's like, it's like I have no muscles. Every single dream I have, I'm never bad at. But, anyways... So I asked this other little girl, the 10 year old girl, I was like, is that your daddy? She's like, no, he just came up and grabbed me up and stuck me in there and I couldn't get away. I was like, well, fuck, man. So I'm trying to find these little girls' dads. I'm still waiting to pay for my shit. So I have these little girls and then all of a sudden I turn around and my cart's gone. And I figured, you know, it was that guy. And I was like, fuck, I was so mad because it took me forever to get my stuff and he'd already tried to steal like three times. And, like, I told, um, one of, the, like, the, there was, like, a security guard or a cop in there, and I told him, like, what the guy looks like. Like, he had on a green sweatshirt and a brown shirt under his green hoodie, and then long tan pants. Like, he was really tall, and he had dark hair and, like, a goatee. Like, I'd never seen him before, but he had short, like, black hair, kind of. It was maybe that long and this goatee, and he always had like a really serious face. And I told the police officer what was going on, and I was like, yeah, you need to go arrest this guy because he's trying to snatch out people's kids and like kidnap them. And I was having a really hard time talking. Like, you know how you feel when you're like about to cry, like when you're talking to somebody, and you like choke up a little bit and it's hard to talk? Like, that's how I felt like the whole time when I was trying to tell my story and tell them what was going on. And then <clears throat> there was, you know, those two friends or whatever, these children found their parents, so that was good. And, um, uh, I go with these two or three friends of mine, and we go into, like, this weird room where there's, like, pizza, boxes of pizza everywhere, like, fresh pizza. And apparently there, there was two girls and a guy, and apparently the guy was hammered. And we were just chilling and eating pizza and then he there's like five trash cans in there and he starts picking things off the top of them because they were all really full but he was going to throw up so he starts picking things off the top because he's going to throw up and I was like well I want to get out of here because I don't want to be around to see that so I ran out the room
and then right hold up. I usually don't smoke like first day in the morning when I get up, but Oh, I have another part I can tell you about. <laughs> now, too, something I just realized. So after I leave the room, I go and try to find my card again. I try to find this guy so I can get my fucking card back and go. And he walks away with it and everything. Like, um, all of a sudden, him and like a group of his friends are following me. And there was like two other people with me, different people from the people I was hanging out with before, but apparently I knew them, but I don't know them in real life. I think it was like one dude and one girl. And we start walking, and we're like kind of in the edge of the store, like around like a produce dairy section where all the cheese and shit is against the wall. So we're like on the very edge of the store, and <clears throat> they come up behind us and he starts yelling and I think he's like Italian or something because he kind of had an accent and he's like he's like ha 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 I got your stuff or thanks for the DVD player or something like that and I'm like I didn't even fucking pay for the shit so if you bought it you paid for it not me and if you stole it then you stole it because I didn't pay for it I hadn't even paid for it yet, and he was, like, talking shit and, like, throwing things at me, and he, finally, he got close enough to me to where he came up behind me and tried to, like, grab me, then at that point, like I said, when I'm in my, like, in my dreams, like, I haven't, I haven't really been, like, a real fight in real life, I've been in a couple brawls but not like a real fight and in real life you know I can try and defend myself I mean I'm not that strong but strong enough to get someone away from me but in my dreams it's like it's like my muscles feel so exhausted that I can't even barely move them so I'm trying to kick and punch this guy and stuff for some reason I have a pair of sunglasses in one hand and I had something else in my other hand, I don't remember what it was, but I had a pair of sunglasses in this hand, and I had them, like, the lenses were over my knuckles, and the, the ear parts were, like, in my hand, so I had them folded into my hand, and I was trying to hit him with them, to thinking maybe it would hurt him more. Sorry, there's a train coming. And I wasn't fighting very well at all. He was just kind of laughing at me, and I'm like, why are you trying to steal people's kids, you know, why... Why were you trying to steal those little girls? Why were you trying to steal my cart? What the hell is your problem? And then one of my friends is like, Alex, scream, scream, because then those police officer guys will come and then they'll take them away. So I started screaming, but I could like barely scream. It's like my voice is really raspy. So I was just like, ah, like pathetically screaming. I was like, get away from me. Leave me alone. Da, da, da. And I was trying to hit him and push him away, like him and like five other dudes that were trying to attack us. And... I was screaming, I was kicking, I was punching, da, da, da. and when I woke up, I literally kicked, like physically kicked my leg, and kicked my ashtray that was on my nightstand onto the floor. That's why I said, oh man, over there, because now I got ashes and cigarette butts all over my floor. I literally, like, kicked the air, <laughs> and I woke up. So, yeah. Tell me that wasn't fucking weird, and if you can figure out what that means, you should tell me, because... I have no clue. None. So yeah. This is really long, sorry. Bye.